friend? Yes, I would like to know if you have anything planned tonight. No, I don't have anything planned. Why are you asking me this question? Or do you know? My boyfriend had organized a small evening for me to thank me for the work I had done in the first quarter. Thanks for the invitation. However, I would not be able to come because my mother would not allow me to go out at night. I am very sorry. It's not a big deal. I invited someone else. Okay, that works. Mom promised me that she would buy me new clothes. I'm going to go to her house, to the store to remind her of that. I see my daughter coming to the store. What is she looking for here? Hello, Mom. Are you all right? Yes, Mom. But why didn't you go straight home? In fact, I came here to remind you of the promise you made to me. What promise are you talking about? Because I completely forgot about it. You told me that if I got a good grade in the first quarter, that you would buy me new clothes. Oh that's right. Excuse me for not honoring my promise to you. Do you know what we are going to do? No, Mom. Go home to do your homework. As for me, as soon as I close the store, I will stop by the market to buy the clothes I promised you. Great. Thanks a lot. You deserve it, my daughter. I am proud of you because you are a respectful, docile, hardworking, intelligent girl. You are the child that every parent wants to have. You make my pride. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Me too. I love you, my daughter. So very soon. Yes, see you later, Mom. I must quickly close my store in order to go shopping for my daughter, because she is more than worth buying new things for her. As soon as I get home, I will quickly go clean the house, do the cooking and then do my homework like that. As soon as Mom is back, she will have nothing left to do because I feel that she will be very tired when she comes home tonight. Well, I'm ready. I did my homework. Mom is back. Can't wait to see what she bought for me. I'll join her in the lounge. Look at how clean this house is. It smells so good. This girl keeps surprising me. I'm sure she'll be happy with the clothes I bought for her. Have a nice welcome, Mom. Thanks, my daughter. Mom, how do you see the house? It is very clean, my daughter. Ooh. What do you have? I left the clothes in the car. Don't worry, Mom. I'll go get them. Dad also it's back. I will go get the clothes and great dad too. Okay, it works. How was your day, darling? Did it go well? Yes, my wife and you. Did you have a good day? Yes, I had a good day. Wow, this house is smells so good. I had just noticed that too. It's the little girl who worked like that. Really? I am proud of our daughter. Same as myself. Ha 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 The clothes this lady paid for her daughter have all my marks on them. As soon as this girl wears her clothes, I will take control of her life so that I can oppress her properly. Dad, Mom, do you like the meal that I cooked for you? The food was good. You're doing quite well. Go on like that. Your dad's right. You keep surprising as well. We are proud of you. Thanks a lot. I'm going to try on the clothes. Okay, I'm sure you're going to love them. Well, I'm going to go take a nice bath. But what is happening to me? This little one started by trying on clothes. As soon as she puts those who have my brand on, I will get into action in her life. Here is one of my clothes that she has in her hands. Come on, tell me this, little girl. Among all the clothes I've tried on, this one suits me perfectly. And I like this suit. Among all the clothes that I had tried, this one suits me perfectly. I like this suit. Come on, repeat little girl. All I want to do is go out and show people outside. 
It's nice clothes. I only want to go out and show outsiders these pretty clothes. Go ask your mom for permission. She will give it to you. Well, I'll go ask my mom's permission so I can go out. This clothes is going great. Thanks, mom, mom. Yes. Please can I go for a walk for a few minutes? No, it's late. Please, mom. Just 10 minutes and then I'm going to go home. All right, I'm going to leave the door open as soon as you get home. Don't forget to close it because I'm going to bed. I am super tired. Okay, mom. <laughs> That's it. Now you very different. <laughs> oh no. But how is it that there is no one on this street to see these pretty clothes that I had worn? My mother told me just now that the clothes fit me very well. However, that is not enough for me. I want more reviews on these clothes. I need advice from a stranger. This lady is very beautiful. She says please me. Great. I see a boy greeting me in the distance, but that's not enough for me. I need a woman's opinion. Why isn't she answering me? Hi, hi. Get close to her. She's a girl like you. Well, I'm going to get a little bit closer to this person. Wow. You are very beautiful. Thanks. You know what? I like you so much. Excuse me for asking you this question. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. Are you a man? No. When I saw you in the distance, I didn't know you were a woman. When I saw you in the distance, I didn't know you were a woman. You were not the first person to think that. I am used to these kinds of comments. So what are you doing outside at this time? I'm just out for a walk. Ask her to become your girlfriend. I would like you to be my girlfriend. Really? Yes. Where do you live? Not too far from here. Do you want to know my house? Yes, I would like to. There we go. This is where you live. Yes, we are going to have a great time together. I'll even look at you again if you want me to. I would like to. Really? You are very nice. I've never met someone like you before. Thanks for your compliments. This girl forgot to close the door. As I told her, I will go see her in her room. I am sure that it was because of fatigue that she was able to do this, because she had worked so hard yesterday. Oh she is not there. I'll go see if she's in the garden. She's not here either. Where does she is? I can't find her. I think I'm going to go wake my husband up. I had a nice evening with you. And thank you so much for giving me a complete makeup. Thanks, when are we going to see each other again? I will come back to your house as soon as I get out of the house for school later. Okay, I will wait you and with great pleasure. I still have lots of surprises for you. Okay, it works my friend. It's her. I am listening to her voice with whom she is talking. Oh my god, it's amazing what I see. My daughter with another girl doing that. Am I dreaming or what? See you soon you will miss me. I'm going to miss you too. Well, I have to go home. Bye. Mom? Am I dreaming or is it a reality? Where were you? What is going on with you? You are unrecognizable. Where are you dressed like that from? Sounds like you were possessed. I am really outraged by what I have just seen. <laughs> Tell your mom you're not a kid anymore. Say that you are old enough to do what you want. Mom, I'm not a kid anymore. I am old enough to do what I want. I won't let anyone order me from today. I will do what I want. I really don't recognize you anymore. Do you know who you were talking to? Oh, why all the noise? 
But what is going on between mother and daughter? Well, I'll go see what's going on. Explain to me what is going on with you. Mom, stop asking me questions. I am tired I am going to bed. Stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it. It is unbelievable. She is gone. What is going on here? Go see your daughter. She is unrecognizable. Where is she? She's in her room. What? Who did that to you? What do you have? What has happened? It is a friend. Am I in a dream? Since when did you start doing this kind of thing? Dad, stop asking me questions. I am tired I want to sleep. You're talking to me like that. Join us in the lounge. We're going to talk. As I said before, this is what happened before I went to bed last night. Why have you let her go out alone? Tell your parents that you are going to leave home and go join your girlfriend. Where are you? We are waiting you. I think I'm going to get my things and meet my girlfriend in her apartment. Because I can't stand with my parents anymore. Who are you playing these games with? We are your parents. As long as you live under us, you must obey what you are told. Starting today, I am leaving this house. Don't ever try to see me again. That is what <laughs> Now I'm going to be able to impress this girl well. From now, she belongs to me. As I told you, that's what happened between me and my parents. So, I decided to come and live with you. You make the best decision? I am very happy. I'm going to take good care of you. We're going to enjoy it together. Calm down comes here. It's going to be fine. We haven't heard from our daughter for over two weeks. Despite all the research that we had launched. Don't worry my wife. Brother Jean told me to come. I think he had a revelation about what's happening to our daughter. We will go see him to listen to what he has to say to us. Wait me in the car I am coming. If I called you, it was to tell you the revelation I had when I was praying for your daughter. What did God reveal about her? As I said, your daughter is under the influence of a smart spirit. What? She is oppressed by an evil spirit. You have to pray for her a lot. For my part, I will also support you in prayer, because only God alone can deliver her. Where will we find her to deliver her? For now, we are going to pray that she return home of her own free will. Because nothing is impossible for God. What did this spirit do to gain access to her life? When I was praying, I saw that she was wearing a t-shirt with a scowl on it and on that shirt, there was a screen. It is through this screen that she is controlled. You should check all of his clothes and burn the ones that have marks that do not glorify the Lord. Because the things we wear, whether it's shoes or clothes, and even the accessories we wear in general, can be open doors for the enemy to oppress us. That's why we should always check the items we buy and even after the purchase. We must remember to sanctify these items through the blood of Jesus Christ that flowed on the cross of Golgotha before using them. Brother, I didn't know about all these things before. He very often goes through subtle things to attack human beings. That is why Peter 5 verse 8 tells us this, Be sober, be careful. Your opponent the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. Often, when we talk about objects dedicated to the clever, we limit ourselves only to jewelry, perfumes and sometimes fake hair. However, we need to know that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. He goes through all sorts of things to possess humans. A person can get possession just by buying a piece of clothing, including even foods that have the mark of the beast. As I understand it, my daughter was possessed through a suit. So yes, that's why we need to be aware. Because the enemy exists and he works with his agents night and day to destroy Christians. We who are Christians must pray constantly. As the Bible tells us. Before, we didn't pray at all at home. But considering what I had just heard from today, I will never stop praying. May the Lord Jesus Christ help you. Thanks brother Jacques. I'm going to leave.
Bye. As I said, this is what brother Jacques told me about our daughter. Arriving home, I will check his entire room and burn all the objects and clothes that did not glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to do it together, my wife. Oh my god, I know you answer prayers. It's been over a week since we got rid of anything that didn't glorify you. Today, our house is sanctified by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think that my daughter too is already free from the grip of the evil one. I really miss my parents. What is happening to me these days? Why did I leave my parents' house? I will go ask my mother and father for forgiveness for all the harm I have caused to them. Okay, I'm going to my store. Mom. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. Mom. I am very sorry I didn't know what was bothering me. Oh my daughter. Why did you cause me so much pain like that? Without lying to you? I can't tell you that. I don't even know what made me act like that with you. Mom. Let's go to the lounge my daughter. Okay, mom. It is not possible. I failed my mission again. This little girl completely escaped me. My methods have been laid bare by the Lord of Christians. But hey, I won't give up. I will try to go through another door to enter this girl's life again. Because I see that there is a great destiny that awaits her. Why I will have you baby girl? I will certainly have you one day. Oh, I found my daughter. I am so happy to see you again my daughter. Me too, I am so happy dad to see you again. I really don't know what made me act like that with you like that. I sincerely apologize to you dad. You are forgiven my daughter, because I know that you did not act on your own. You were under the influence of an impure spirit. That was why you had begun to rebel against us, but through fasting and prayer. The Lord Jesus Christ has delivered you from the power of darkness. And thank you so much dad for watching and praying for me. Because maybe if you hadn't, I wouldn't be here today. Oh my daughter, return all the glory to God. There was also brother Jacques who had also supported in prayer. Okay, dad. In any case. I am very happy to see you again in great shape. From now on, we will be very careful about the clothes we buy because it was one of the clothes that mom bought you that caused everything that happened. Oh yeah, okay, I'll be very careful another time when I choose my clothes at the store soon. Perfect, my daughter. I now pray for you, my daughter, that the Lord will watch over you and that no misfortune will befall you. Let no plague approach your tent wherever you are. May anything forged against you always be null and void. You are blessed, my daughter, that the angels of the Lord protect you day and night and always barricade the path that the enemy will pass to touch you. Remain wise, my daughter, and be mightily restored in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Dad, for that beautiful prayer. You're welcome, my daughter, that's normal. It is in joy that I give my life to you, make me, Lord, what you want. Thank you so much, Lord, for rescuing my daughter from the hand of the enemy and bringing her home. May your name be mightily glorified and magnified. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, be careful when you have to buy things for your children. Be careful and take a good look at the things you need to buy, because some of them have the symbols that represent the mark of the beast. And if you're not careful, you risk buying them for your kids. And very quickly, when you open its doors, the enemy passes by to upset and turn the lives of your precious children upside down. Dear parents, let us be careful as the Bible tells us, and pray that this will never happen to our children. May the Lord increase our discernment in these end times to prevent us not to buy items from the enemy. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like it, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one soul will be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you and protect you.